Time is 6.54. Let's take a look at the stories we're following as you head out the door. We start in Limestone County where a harvest man is facing multiple charges this morning. Police say he assaulted an officer and burglarized a business. The Limestone County Sheriff's Office says this man, Nicholas Green, broke into the import auto in Madison on Christmas morning. The owner of the store heard the noise, went downstairs to see what was going on. After he was spotted, Green ran from the store and led, deputy, led a deputy on a short chase. The deputy had minor cuts and bruises to his leg. Green was found with drug paraphernalia and stolen property. One man is facing assault charges this morning in connection to a stabbing at a nightclub. It happened Wednesday night at Club 47 on Jordan Lane. Investigators tell us it all started with a fight. Huntsville police arrested Michael Wheeler Thursday in connection to the crime. According to police, the victim is at Huntsville Hospital in critical condition. Casey. It's been one week since a DeKalb County fire killed a family of five. Officials say it could be at least two weeks before the toxicology reports are completed. Meanwhile, the sheriff's office is interviewing people and looking into electronic evidence to find out what caused this fire. We'll bring you new details as soon as we can. Megan. This morning, a Colbert County man is recovering what, what's left after a shed went up in flames. The fire happened on 7th Street in Cherokee yesterday morning. The owner told us he was working in the yard when things got out of hand. Firefighters were able to stop the fire from spreading. The shed is destroyed. Allen said from now on, he will check his pile of leaves before burning them. He told us some of his car parts were in the shed, but nothing sentimental. Carson.